Hello, this is Pastor Shinnick from Martin Luther. Wanted to share a devotion with you today as the church celebrates Good Shepherd Sunday. And I wanted to share a devotion with you today um, in addition to the worship services we're offering because today at Martin Luther was supposed to be what we had initially planned on as Confirmation Sunday. Of course, plans have changed and given the circumstances, we have pushed Confirmation back into the fall and we look forward to celebrating it then. But I wanted to jump on here today and share, share a message, especially with the confirmands uh, as they go through what was initially supposed to be their confirmation day. But I wanted to share a message of comfort from God's word. And certainly all of you are welcome to join with us on that and receive this comfort from our good shepherd. Confirmation is an exciting thing, isn't it? Confirmation Day is a day that I'm sure you have been looking forward to for a long time. You had plans on how you were going to celebrate this today. You had plans to spend it with your classmates, to celebrate the growth that you and your classmates together have gotten to enjoy together over these last several years. You had plans to celebrate with your family, your family that's watched you grow from the time you were a baby, when you were baptized into God's family. They've seen you grow and now become a young Christian adult who's ready to confess their faith before the whole church. And I'm sure they were eager to celebrate that with you too. And, and, and they still are eager. And we look forward to the day when we're able to, to have that celebration here in person. But today, I'm imagining that maybe you're feeling a little bit disappointed, a little bit frustrated, a little bit sad. So I wanted to, to share some comfort with you from God's word and to first and foremost remind you of your good shepherd, that you still have a good shepherd who knows you, who loves you, who cares about you. He knows you and you know him. And that's really what confirmation is all about, isn't it? The, the relationship that we have with the Good Shepherd. So I thought that today we could focus on Jesus' words from John chapter 10, verses 14 and 15, where Jesus says, I am the Good Shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Confirmation is a day when normally we spend a lot of time celebrating the fact that you know your Good Shepherd. And you do know your Good Shepherd. You've gotten to know him as you've studied his word uh, with the help of the Catechism over the past several years. You've learned all about your Good Shepherd. You know his will for your life as you've studied it in the Ten Commandments. You've seen God's holy standard. You've studied about how we've fallen short of that standard. And then in the creed, you studied all about all that God has done for you in sending his son Jesus to be your savior and connecting you to that work through the work of the Holy Spirit and how he continues to care and provide for you as well. You know your good shepherd. You were planning on letting everyone know today in, in public and confirmation how, how you know that good shepherd and how you, you put your trust in him. You're not able to do that in person in front of everyone today. But nothing changes in the fact that you know him. And that means that today, even from home, we still have something to celebrate. We can celebrate how God has seen to it that you have grown in faith. And we look forward to seeing how he'll continue to help you grow in faith through his word and sacrament, the sacrament of the Lord's Supper uh, that you'll soon be receiving for the first time. That's, that's a wonderful thing, an exciting thing to celebrate. And also, I think it's good for us to remember today that not only do we know the Good Shepherd, but the Good Shepherd knows us too. And for you confirmands, the Good Shepherd knows you. And maybe it's been a little bit tempting recently to forget that as you've seen one thing after another get canceled, you've seen your eighth grade year get cut short, you've missed out on all those memories you were looking forward to making in person with your classmates. You've seen confirmation get moved back. And throughout all that frustration, maybe it's, it's easy to wonder, you know, where is Jesus in all this? But you know your good shepherd, don't you? You know that he loves you. He cares for you. He knows you by name. And he is watching over you. You know that he'll do that and that he'll continue to do that because it says, I lay down my life for the sheep. 
The most important thing you have ever learned about your good shepherd is how he laid down his life for you. How he willingly gave himself on the cross to take your sins away, to make you right with God. You know that. He knows you. He cares for you. He is watching over you. And he will continue to be with you throughout the end of this school year as you wrap things up in your online education. He'll be with you throughout this summer when we're able to come back together in worship in church again. And he'll be with you as you head off to high school as well. Your good shepherd knows you. He loves you. He cares about you, even now. So as you're facing this frustration, as you wish things maybe were different, maybe we're back to normal, remember, your good shepherd is still your good shepherd. You know him. You've gotten to know him. And he knows you. And he cares for you. And that is reason to celebrate. So today, wherever you are, celebrate that you know your good shepherd, that you've gotten to know him over the past several years of study, and celebrate that he knows you too, and that he loves you and will be with you always. Now with that, no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, we can always celebrate the relationship that we have with our good shepherd. God bless your day.